Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio, as played by an engineer. Uh, this episode, we're really going to begin ramping up the production here. Um, so, like in the previous episode, which I know is recorded so long ago, I've just been kind of busy and stuff, and this will probably be my last episode for a little while. I'm, I'm going to training in another portion of the States. I'm not going to be here next week, so this is going to be my only episode for a little while. But uh, in the last episode, we really started uh, beginning our production. But today, we're really going to ramp it up another notch. So I'm going to add on a few more gear production here. Good, 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 good. So that's all well and good. Really going to ramp up the gear production here a little bit because we are going to begin creating our transport belt, underground belt, and splitters a little bit more locally. So I want, we're gonna do the transport belt first because these are the easiest. All this requires is one iron plate, one iron gear, one iron gear. So we're gonna extend the iron belt just a hair. Also gonna extend the gear belt just a hair as well. A little bit of room here. Peel off the iron. Peel off the iron gear. Swing. Use an underground belt to get under one bus. Oh, cool, what do I got? Oh, awesome. That's done, so now I can make um, electric furnaces. Um, what else can I make here? Uh, that'll be cool, helpful. Uh, that'll help, that'll be good. Um, shoot, I really don't know what I wanna. I consider I can't do, can't do that, can't do that. Ah, and, uh, accumulators are good, but I really want to do, do I have flight researched? I want to be able to do robotics next. Research that. Actually, I don't want to bring up the iron. Actually, no, I do want to bring up the iron gears. What am I thinking? A little bit of room here, one. Yep, too much room. Note, I really need to bring up the iron gears so I can a little bit more properly that's looking good now I can actually properly there now I can properly merge these two one two three since we're always going to be needing transport belts, I'm going to make this one just a little bit. I'm going to make five here. Yeah, I'm going to have five stations dedicated to the production of transport belt. Oh, that's looking okay. That is looking pretty average at best, if I do say so myself. So now you may ask yourself, why five? I don't know, five just seems like a pretty okay number. With this design I'm using, it's pretty easy to, you know, expand my factory as need be. The reason why I want extra transport belt is not only because transport belt is used in underground belts, and also splitters. And eventually, fast transport belts, but since, and since underground belts are made up, basically this entire row is made up of transport belts, so it's always a good idea to, you know, just have a look couple extra lying around. It's not really going to hurt anything. Did I mess something up here? Oh, yep, I did. I did indeed. There we go. Now, these are also going to get their own belt. Just because they are, again, a pretty important little resource that we're going to be using. Oh a lot of oh 
Oh, I did. I goofed my uh, thing here a little bit, so let's just kind of. Yeah, now we're talking. goofed this one as well. I do apologize for the delay in between these videos. I've been a little bit absolutely crazy with um, work and stuff, so I try to upload these when I have the time, or just generally have time, which is a foreign concept to me right now. But right now I'm sitting here on a Saturday, not really too much going on. I was just sitting in my chair watching YouTube videos and realized, hey, I have, like, episodes of these that I could crank out. Why don't I try and crank out one? So here I am, cranking out one. Let's extend the... Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Extend out the belts here just a little bit. So eventually I'm going to need to extend them all up anyway, so I might as well do it right now while I'm sitting here. Good, good. There we go. Now we're evenly distributing them. this all into this, like so. Begin the distribution of those. There's a lot of stuff that I run down the belts, or that I run down the um, buses that I'll admit could just be made. I like to think of this as, um, what's a good word for it? This is all local, this is all like, um, remote production we're gonna call it whereas um, when you're making the resources that you need at the spot that you're gonna need them like that's more of a local production so this I kind of consider all my remote production stuff I will eventually be using these these are like the building components of everything whereas when I make yeah this is all like my local production but if let's say if I need like more gear or if I made gears over here and then immediately turn them into let's say splitters I would consider that I was locally producing these over somewhere else oh cool flight's done Pretty soon I can get construction robots I've never actually used construction robots so you will notice there will be probably around episode 10 I figure will be an awkward just break in the series while I figure out how to do robotics and all the more advanced stuff this series was never really intended to get too much further than like this, but I'm really learning a lot about Factorio recently, and I think if I like practice on my other world, I could actually put up a pretty good video on how to do robotics and all the really cool advanced stuff. So that'll probably be season two, which might, I'm kind of planning right now, like the end of summer or if demand occurs. Factorio was only ever meant to be a the hell? Alright, this needs to be done a little differently. Yeah, I, I gotta fix that now. Okay, I'll fix that later, otherwise that's gonna drive me nuts. I could literally sit here and fix all kinds of stuff on my factory, but I don't have the time because I gotta keep this ex exhilarating. All right, so we got belt, we got belt stacking up. Belt is looking pretty good. So the next thing we gotta do, so now we got belt, we can use that to produce our underground belt, which is just gonna be iron and five transport belts. So we'll bring iron over. bring iron over. We'll bring the transport belts up a little bit. 
we will break off one thing for transport belts. Now, a good idea when building like these larger scale factories, it, it, it can be very hard to visualize. Like, um, let, let me rephrase that. I don't build stuff unless I have like the resources there to build it because it can be very hard to visualize, especially on more advanced things, what all you have there. So you'll never see me so you'll never see me build stuff like this unless I have the resources right there so I can help help me better visualize what all I'm doing with what. If that makes sense, cool. If it doesn't, as yeah. Make it make sense. Oh, if I built that just a little bit too close here. There we go, that's a little better. Sweet, so now I got that there, so then that'll allow me to produce my transport belt right away. The one thing that I like about this design that I'm doing differently is I'm giving myself plenty of room in between all of my different factories, or my different segments of my factory. I don't really need to be producing that many. Oh no, I don't have transport belt. Whatever shall I do? Which reminds me, another thing that I should probably do. Let's just get an iron chest right here. That's just collecting up transport belt. That thing serves no other purpose than to just store it. Perfect. Then this will do underground belt. And then this requires, oh cool, flight's done. What else can I do? Blueprints? I've never done the automated construction. So this will be kind of exciting when I do that. Research that, please. Thank you. Just out of power poles here. Not gonna begin. out of inserters here. Inserters is another thing that I really need. The fast inserters, that is literally all I will use on my factories. I don't know why, I just do. I know they require more power, but I really need my factory to be producing at, at optimal efficiency. So eventually I will be using these for fast inserter, for fast underground belt. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking here, we'll make this, this, and this. We'll do all the basic splitters, and then we'll do a separate section, maybe behind here, for the faster stuff. I'm gonna work on that, I'm gonna work on that. But for the time being, but for the time being, this is the end of the production line for these. So I'm just gonna leave those here. I'm gonna come back to those. Next thing, splitters. Let's bring the bus down a little bit more. I'm very terrible at using these. Let's get some more, 300, excellent. I'm a very big, I'm trying this time to use my bus to a little bit more. As on previous games, I wouldn't use my bus like at all. I would just have copper and iron and steel and I would just kind of make everything locally. Now I'm trying to make stuff a little bit more remotely, have dedicated sections of this factory for production. I am just failing at belt placement today. What do I mean I'm failing at belt placement today? I fail, fail at belt placing all the time. And just so bus fill up a little bit. So that's good. Down here a little bit. Just a little bit more, I promise. Bring the belt up. Or not. That works too. Um, effect transmission. Nope, that's kind of useless. Concrete. That'd be kind of neat. Ooh, rail tankers. I'm going to need those at some point. 
Where was I? All right. Bring this up. developing an idea slowly in my head. That's why I've got a huge gap here. I'm, I'm thinking of something in, in my head. Ooh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. I can... Okay, cool. Oh, yep, just there. Perfect, fine, good. I, I've never used the blueprint thing before either, but I know it's valuable. All right, sweet. So that's transport belt coming up. I got iron there. Now I need the electric circuits. Okay, what's it going to use the most of? Iron and electric circuits. So what I'm going to do here is bring up the iron line. Wait, what did I say it's going to use most of? Electric circuits and iron. So the iron line I'm going to bring in front of this, and you'll see why in just a second, why this is just absolute genius, what I'm about to do here. Break off that line. So that line's broken off, and then iron, bring that up a little bit. Now remember how I said that I was going to use more of the gears, or of the iron plate and the electronic circuits, so I'm going to use 10 of these total, whereas I'm only going to use 4 transport belts. So now what I'm going to do here is just completely blow your minds. Probably not though, but you know, it helps me feel better about myself if I say I'm about to. So you know how fast inserters are the are faster. So we're going to use these to pick up more, ma more the majority of the material. Then we're going to use the longer the slower long-handed inserters to go pick up the to go pick up the more remote, further away, and much less used, transport belt. Trust me, I'm just like a genius at this point. If I really wanted to, I probably could throw on another um, fast inserter just to help speed up production a little bit, but I really don't need to at this second. But that's the nice thing about this little design that I'm working on here is I can always come back later and change it. All right, good, good, good. For the time being, that's all that I'm going to do production-wise there. How long have I been in this video? About 18 minutes, according to my timer here. Is that a good place to stop? So I've made splitters. So I've made splitters. I've made transport belt. Ooh, I still gotta make a. I still gotta make inserters. Iron gear. Yeah, we'll quick do those. Transport belt, please. We'll really quick make the inserters here. I'm gonna end the episode right there. up the iron, give myself a little bit of room to work with. Again, I'm going to try something kind of different in this area. Extend that forward a little bit more. Again, my ultimate goal is to move all production over in this vicinity and cease using it and cease doing anything with that smaller factory I made. But you really need that smaller factor. That's going to carry you through this game. That's going to carry you through the early portions of this game. And what all do I need to make these? I need iron, iron gears, and I need electronic circuits. Damn it, ran out again. And by ran out again, I mean I just kind of carelessly ran my belt where it didn't belong. Giggity. Alright, 
so once again we're gonna need one of each so iron pull that off iron gear pull that off electronic circuits pulling that off Work with me here. Now we're cooking with gas here. So these two lines, I am just going to merge. Oh, but in doing that, I kind of screwed up the iron placement here. I got click happy. Make sure my resources flow pretty well here. And I have inserters making inserters. I guess that answers the riddle. First we have to make the stuff before we can have the stuff make the other stuff. It always bothered me. What came first? The machines that produce the stuff or the stuff that you use to produce the machines with. Yeah. Yeah, I was a I was a kid. No doubt about it. I was once a kid. Somehow. I was a, Somehow I was a kid. I, I really never figured it out, but I was a kid. I was a kid. I always wanted to build robots when I grew up. Now look at me. I'm building factories. Hmm. Schwink, schwing, and inserters are being made. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the episode right off there. I think that is the majority of our production has been moved to over here, which means I can eliminate pretty much all of this. In the next episode, probably going to move our research and create a more permanent solution to that probably going to do a remote research location up over in this vicinity albeit i haven't figured that out that portion out yet in our next episode though that's what we'll do and until then i will be seeing you <laughs>